Which would you rather have? An extra $50 per paycheck this past year? Or $1,300 added to your tax refund in April? Many Americans would tell you that they want the refund. I know I would. After all, it's just a smaller loss than you'd normally have. But the money we'd save with lower taxes would be more than a bigger refund. So why do we still want it? It's due to a psychological concept called prospect theory. The reason why we have tax refunds in the first place is that throughout the year, Americans pay more in taxes than they actually owe. Because employers typically overwithhold money due to inaccuracies in your W-4, aka the type or amount of deductions are incorrect. At the end of the year, the government gives that money back to you in the form of a tax refund. When you withhold more in taxes than you ultimately owe, you're essentially giving the United States government an interest-free loan. According to experts, the best way to do your taxes is so that you have no refund, or even owe a little when you complete your tax form. That way, you aren't loaning the government any money during the year that you could be using for something else. But people love their tax refunds. And economists were really confused as to why. Richard Thayer, a Nobel-winning economist at the University of Chicago, told the New York Times, the question that befuddles traditional economists is why people want these refunds. Why do they want to make interest-free loans to the government? If those economists just went out and met a non-economist, they would find that people like refunds. Well, in December 2017, President Trump signed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. It cut individual income tax rates and cut the top individual tax rate to 37%. If you want to hear more about the U.S.'s marginal tax system, click here where I talk about it more. A Treasury Department spokesperson said that most people are seeing the benefits of the tax cut in larger paychecks throughout the year, instead of tax refunds that are the result of people overpaying the government. On average, tax refunds are 8.4% less this year, down to $1,865 from $2,035. The number of refunds issued also dropped 24.3%. The average tax refund in February was down $500 from last year. Of course, this doesn't mean that you're paying more in taxes, just that you're getting less back from the government. But we aren't always rational in how we think about our money. When we look at our tax refunds now, we're not thinking about the extra $50 that we got throughout the year that a lot of people didn't even notice. We're seeing a loss in our refunds, and that's upsetting on a primal level. That instinct is explained by the foundation of behavioral economics. It's called prospect theory. It's a psychologically motivated theory of how people make decisions. Prospect theory says that if two equal choices are given, with one framed as a gain and one framed as a loss, people will choose the gain-framed option. It's also called loss aversion theory because losses have a greater emotional impact than an equivalent amount of gain. Basically, people hate to lose. Even if there's two exactly equal options, people will choose the one that's not framed as a loss. Prospect theory was formulated in 1979 by two Israeli psychologists, Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. The two men came together to form a description of decision-making that was more accurate than the prominent theory of the day. Prospect theory won Kahneman a Nobel Prize in economics. In an interview with PBS, Kahneman said, And what it means is that people hate losing much more than they like winning. And we actually have a pretty good idea of the, the ratio or the factor by how much people hate losing more than they like winning. And it's about on average, I mean, that's a crude estimate, but on average, it, it's between two and three. Kahneman explains it as a bet he gave to his Princeton students. Every student started with $10. They were given an option to bet on a coin toss, where heads would mean they got more money and tails would mean they lost the $10. Kahneman found he had to offer them $25 to get them to take the bet, two to three times more than they had to lose. Prospect theory revolutionized big data studies, advanced evidence-based medicine, 
led to a new approach to government regulations and gave birth to the field of behavioral economics. And it also explains why it's so gut-wrenching to see a smaller tax refund. If you want to learn more about Kahneman and Tversky, I recommend checking out Michael Lewis's book, The Undoing Project. After writing Moneyball in 2003, he found out from a New Yorker review that his whole book was about prospect theory, and he didn't even know it. He thought the two men were so interesting, he decided to write a whole book about it. Which would you rather have? A larger tax refund or to pay less in taxes throughout the year? Let us know in the comments below. Click subscribe, throw us a like, and don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications.